Hi guys, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a super easy Y shake effect in After Effects. To learn more shake effects, make sure to check out the other tutorials on the channel. I've also created 16 unique and advanced shake effects that you can get from the link in the description. Now let's get started. First create a new adjustment layer. Then scroll 20 frames forward by holding shift and pressing page down twice. Now cut the adjustment layer at that point and delete the second half. We only need a 20 frame long adjustment layer. Next move that adjustment layer above your second clip, like this and make sure your playhead is at the very beginning of the adjustment layer. On that adjustment layer, apply the motion tile effect. Make sure to click the tile center stopwatch icon to add a keyframe, then we'll be animating the Y position. You can adjust the Y value directly from here, but I find it easier to control it using the anchor point instead. Just make sure to hold shift while dragging the anchor point so it moves in a straight line and stays perfectly centered. I'm going to move the anchor point slightly up, just like this, because I don't want the shake effect to be too strong. I'm aiming for something smooth and light. The more you move the anchor point up or down, the stronger the shake will be. So take a moment to find the spot that looks best for your style. Now let's scroll forward a bit in the timeline. Then while holding shift, move the anchor point down like this. Scroll forward again and this time move the anchor point up, but keep it closer to the center, since we want the shake to come to a smooth stop at the end. Finally scroll to the end of the adjustment layer. Then right click on the tile center property and select reset to restore the Y position to its original state. The shake part is done, now we just need to smooth it out and then we can preview the result and see if there's anything else we'd like to add. First let's enable mirror edges and set the output height to 110. Now let's quickly check the shake. That looks really cool. However, it still needs a bit more smoothness and blurriness. To fix that, enable motion blur on the adjustment layer. In my case, the blur feels a little too strong, but you can easily adjust it to your liking. Press Ctrl plus K to open the composition settings, then go to the advanced tab. Here you can increase or decrease the shutter angle to control the amount of blur. I found 720 works well for me, so I'm going to keep it at that. Let's also apply the directional blur effect to the adjustment layer. At the very beginning of the layer, click the blur length stopwatch icon to add a keyframe, then set the blur length to 35. Next scroll to the middle of the layer and change the blur length back to 0. Now let's check the final result. And that's it, we're done. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.